Philippine Pharmaceuticals in association with Higher Secondary Principals Forum. Now, uh, let us see the next adjustment that is calculation of amount due to retiring partner and uh, settlement of his capital account. Okay. Uh, now, suppose if a question is asked, how do you ascertain the amount due to a retiring partner? Then what are the important things? Uh, you know, when partners, we have seen now, uh, till now we have seen the various adjustments like how to calculate the ratios and what is his, uh, how to calculate his share of goodwill and how to distribute between the partners. Then we have seen the revaluation of profit or loss uh, and uh, how partners, retiring partner gets his profit or loss in revaluation. Then also accumulated um, profits and losses of business, how they are distributed between the partners. So now, other than this, there are some more points like where the retiring partner is credited uh, for with certain items and debited with certain items. Okay. So now, when a retiring partner's share is to be calculated, the amount payable to retiring partner is calculated by deducting the amount. Uh, that is receivable from him from the amount payable to him. Okay. So, what does it mean? Now, we have to see the various amounts payable to him and which are the various amounts receivable from him. Any amounts payable to him are credited to his capital accounts. Meaning, when firm has to pay, he, he is like a creditor. So, he, his capital account is credited. And when firm has to receive from him, he is like a debtor and these amounts should be debited to his capital account. So, uh, when you have to find out what is the ultimate amount which is to be paid to the retiring partner, then we have to deduct all debits from the total of credit and then we get what is the amount due to a retiring partner. So, let us see now one by one. So, what did I say here? Amount payable to retiring partner is calculated by deducting the amount receivable from him from the amount payable to him. So, let us see what is the amount payable to him that is due to him. So, what are the various shares of a retiring partner when he retires? So, of course, we start with the first that is his capital balance. Okay? So, he has suppose a credit balance in his capital account in the beginning. So, that balance of course, he has to get. Then any interest, suppose now when this interest salary or remunerations will arise, only when he retires, um, uh, say um, uh, in the middle of the year, then we have to calculate this share from the last balance sheet till the date of retirement and it has to be credited to his capital accounts. Uh, then we have his revaluation profit share, isn't it? So, already we have seen that partners are credited with profit, isn't it? Revaluation profit. So, similarly, the retiring partner also is credited with his share in the revaluation profit. Okay? Then, his accumulated profit or reserves or reserve fund, general reserves, whatever is there, it is to be credited to his capital account or his share you have to find out and credit it. Okay? Then, his share of goodwill. So, already we have seen that gaining partners are to be uh, debited and retiring partner is to be credited in the gain ratio. So, now here uh, this journal entry is passed in a gain ratio. So, retiring partner is credited with his share of goodwill of course and his share of profit this is something different. Okay? Now, suppose if the partner retires in the middle of the year then he is also um, supposed to get his share of profit in, in, in the firm's profit up to the date of retirement. How do we calculate taking into consideration the period from the last balance sheet till the date of retirement? Okay. So, now next is uh, let us see now what is the amount payable to him. Uh, we have seen the amount payable to him. Now, let us see the amount receivable from him that is amount due from him. Okay. What is due exactly uh, opposite of this? Now, if credit balance he has then he has to get similarly if he has a debit balance then that is to be of course uh, amount due from him. Debit balance meaning he is like a debtor, no? he has to pay to the firm. 
so therefore he is to be uh, it has to be it is a debit balance then his share of revaluation loss so which decreases again his capital and then uh, drawings or interest on drawings so drawings is debited of course and interest on drawings is what uh, interest on drawings is up to the date of retirement uh, if he, uh, he he has withdrawn money and uh, for his personal use then we have to calculate the sh his share of um, uh, calculate um, interest on his drawings and that has to be also debited because that is the amount due from him okay and uh, share of accumulated losses okay and also goodwill written off we have seen that already appearing in the books also we write off no so in that case all partners should be debited so also the retiring partner uh, included in that so all these are the debits so now why these debits are shown in red because these are the amount due from uh, him and when you make the total of amount due and also the total uh, here all uh, items which are shown in blue are the amounts payable to him so amount due to him okay so uh, most of the times the amount which is payable to him is more than the amount due from him not necessary but uh, if we want to know what is the amount payable to him final amount payable to him then we have to deduct all debits from the total of credits okay uh, so this is how you calculate if question is asked you should be able to write taking into consideration all these items okay let us see now uh, when partner retires in the middle of the year okay uh, actually it is a part of uh, the amount which is uh, uh, you know payable to a retiring partner it is also included so same like we are uh, uh, we'll see in details uh, about the profit uh, share to be given to a retiring partner if he retires in the middle of the year okay so we call it as uh, estimated profit or accrued profit because this is not an actual profit of the uh, share in the actual profit of the firm because profits are always calculated at the end of the year for any business organizations but in the middle if the partner retires so till that date what is the profit of the firm we have to ascertain and uh, we have to give the share to the partner but it is very difficult to ascertain the profit okay because maybe if firm has uh, earned a profit uh, within three months after three months suppose every data as firm has earned a profit but next nine months there can be losses and therefore here uh, we have to uh, uh, take into consideration it is based on some previous profits or some average profits of the previous years or uh, maybe any other base so let us see what are the various bases on which these profits are calculated Okay, if a partner uh, retires during uh, the year, it is necessary to calculate his share of profit from the date of last balance sheet. This is very important. It is actually shown you in the red, so I don't have to mark it. Okay, so please read from the date of last balance sheet till the date of retirement, and it is credited to him. Okay, uh, since it is difficult to calculate the actual profit. Uh, it is uh, calculated based on certain important aspects so number one is what based on the previous profit of the firm it means last year what is the profit earn and we assume that the same profit will be uh, uh, earned by the uh, firm this year and then till that date what is the profit and his share we calculate okay then next is average profits so we take into consideration the profits of some previous year calculate the average profit and based on that average profit we calculate the profit of the firm and his share in that okay and based on the sales sometimes uh, sales okay if, uh, uh, depending on the profit earn on the sales so what is the sales till that period and what is the profit earn and based on that his share will be payable to him okay and all this profit uh, actually this profit share of a retiring partner we debit to profit and loss suspense account now why suspense account because this is not a actual profit this is just estimated and therefore here for the time being it is debited to a separate account which is known as profit and loss suspense account and retiring partner should be credited as it increases and he should get his share so therefore his capital account is to be credited
okay so next is uh, we will see uh, uh, calculation of profit uh, based on the previous year's profit okay calculation of profit for the intervening period the period from the date of last balance sheet to the date of retirement so the first base is what based on the previous profit okay previous year's profit let us take one example here all of you please have a look uh, at the problem now who are the partners madhan shubham and vipul are partners and uh, who retires vipul retires okay so which date he retires on 31st december so this is very important to you okay he retires on 31st december 2019 so what is the profit earned uh, at the end of the year previous year it's given to you what is it rupees 1 lakh so based on this we have to calculate it okay so let us see the calculations and then we will pass the journal entry to uh, credit his share of profit okay so now all of you look here what is the formula we use previous uh, years profit multiplied with proportionate period and his share okay if we have to calculate we pull share this is the formula please don't forget uh, previous years profit based on previous years why do we multiply it with proportionate period because previous years profit is of one year no but he has retired in between right so after how many months he retires see he retires on 31st december what is the year ending 31st march okay year ending is 31st march so from 31st march till 31st december what is the period it is 9 months so that is why we are taking this proportionate period because 1 lakh is for one year so we want to know what is the profit of 9 months so 9 upon 12 that is a proportion of 12 months out of 12 months we have to take how many months uh, after how many months he retires that should be the numerator and denominator is always 12 months okay and his share what is his share the ratio given to you is what uh, equal right equal meaning 1 is to 1 is to 1 so his share is 1/3 okay so 1/3 is his share and uh, after calculating this so this is the answer we get 25000 is that clear to you so previous year's profit is 1 lakh proportionate period is 9 upon 12 and his share is 1 upon 3 so when we multiply uh, uh, you you are allowed to use the calculators so you can use your calculators and when you calculate this the answer which you get is rupees 25000 is a profit share of vipul and that vipul should be credited with uh, rupees 25 so how do, how it will appear in vipul's account when you open partners capital account it will appear on the credit side as by profit and loss suspense account only in vipul's column rupees 25000 is that clear now we'll see the next uh, situation suppose if you are given the profit to be calculated based on the average profits of certain number of years past certain number of years then how do we calculate so of course uh, let us take one example again same thing same example suppose uh, we pool only retires okay here i am taking we pool only and uh, there are profits given to you of 3 years okay past 3 years 136000 for 16 17 154000 for 17 18 and rupees 1 lakh for 18 19 okay so that profit is given now his share we have to calculate so from which date from 1st april to 31st of december because he retires on that date okay so how first what we have to do then first we have to calculate what is the average profit how do we calculate the average profit you have learned the calculations earlier total profit divided by number of years you get average profit and this average profit should be taken to calculate Uh, the retiring partner's share okay so average profit is total profit upon number of years i i hope this is clear to you so total profit meaning what you have to do all three years profits you have to add so this is what we are doing 136000 144 54000 and 1 lakh divide it by how many years profit is given three years okay so this three okay and then when you calculate on your calculators so total is 390000 profit 
divide it by three years and what you get is 1 lakh 30,000 is the average profit of the firm. Now in this what is the share of a retiring partners we are using the same formula. Only in case of in the previous case we had seen uh, previous years profit yes or no. So now what you have to see here is uh, you have to take here is average profit average profit multiplied by proportionate period into his share. So what, how do we get it? See, we get it like this, 1 lakh 30,000 is the average profit, multiply it with 9 upon 12 because 9 months is the period after which he retires and what is his share of profit? 1 upon 3, okay? So when you calculate, what is the answer you get? It is 12,500 which is credited to whose account? Yes, very good, we pools account should be credited. How do we write it? By profit and loss suspense account. Okay, we are uh, temporarily transferring this balance to profit and loss suspense account. Is that clear? Then we will see the next, that is the last situation. If you are given to calculate the profit of a retiring partner on the basis of sales. So let us take the same example, I am continuing with the same example. But uh, here Vipul only retires and business sales for year 18, 19 because in 19 he retired. So what is the sales uh, up to 31st March? 8 lakh rupees, okay. From April uh, uh, to December is the period, no? He is there. He is there in the business from 1st April to December 31st, okay. So, uh, what is the pro sales given of that period? 4,80,000. Now, we pool share of profit for the period from April 1, 2019 shall be calculated. How? Based on the sales. Atta, based on the sales. So, what is the profit of the previous year which was given to you in the problem? 1 lakh rupees. That was already given, no? So, it is not mentioned here because we are continuing with the same problem, okay? So let us take if sale is rupees 8 lakh meaning, meaning previous year sales were rupees 8 lakhs what was the profit earn 1 lakh rupees okay. Now what is our profit for that intervening period 4 lakh 80,000 in that 4 lakh 80,000 what is the profit we get how do we calculate it if sale is 4 lakh 80,000 then what is the profit the profit is calculated like this. See, this is the proportion, no, out of 8 lakhs profit is 1 lakh. So 1 upon 8 is the proportion, isn't it, of how much? 4 lakh 80,000. Is that clear? So 1 lakh upon 8 lakhs multiply it with 4 lakh 80,000. Uh, I have just shown the denominator 1, it is actually 4 lakh 80,000. So out of 1 lakh, 4 lakh 80,000, 1 8, if you calculate, then what is the answer you get is rupees? 60,000, okay, 60,000 is the answer. What is this now? This is the profit for that intervening period. Of whom? Of the firm, not of Vipul's. So now how do we calculate Vipul's profit in that share of profit? Because you know his share, isn't it? So his share, how do we calculate? We use this formula. Profit till the date of retirement, multiply it with his share, okay. So his profit is 60,000, his share is one third. So how much uh, he should get? 20,000. So this is based on the sales. So in a given admission problem, any one of this situation is given, maybe based on previous profit, maybe based on average profit, or maybe based on the sales, okay? So uh, you have to read it carefully and accordingly you have to calculate. We have seen the detailed calculation. Now with this you can pass a journal entry. What is that? Yes, very good. What is it? Profit and loss, suspense account debit to Vipul's capital account. Very good. And what is the amount? 20,000. Meaning when you open Vipul's account, this account amount should be credited in Vipul's account with rupees 20,000. How do we write it? By profit and loss, suspense account. Nice. So I hope this is clear, calculation of profits. And finally, we come to the settlement of amount due to a retiring partner, okay. Now uh, we have uh, seen now what are his shares, okay. 
regarding this calculation of uh, uh, interest and uh, uh, that is uh, up to the date of retirement and then salary etc calculations uh, actually uh, uh, it, it arises when partner retires in the middle of the year but uh, there is one more chapter you will be learning after this is death of a partner so because uh, retirement is on a convenient date uh, death is sudden isn't it so uh, when the partner dies uh, actually till that date we need to calculate so details uh, of so such calculations will be covered un under the topic death of a partner so for our uh, retirement let us uh, uh, actually uh, uh, stick to what we have done so far so settlement of amount due to a retiring partner uh, okay so now here when partner uh, all amounts are credited and debited to his account then we have to settle him isn't it meaning his uh, account may show debit or credit balance but uh, if it shows debit balance then we have to receive money from him but if it shows a credit balance then uh, we have to make the payment now this payment can be made immediately or maybe for the time being if it is not made then transfer to his loan account so this is the first situation where whole amount due to a retiring when you balance his account and when credit balance is more that is the amount due to a retiring partner and this amount is temporarily transferred to a separate account known as his loan account so we call it as a retiring partners loan account what journal entry do we pass here partners capital account should be debited as it decreases and retiring partners loan account is to be credited because loan account increases now it is a loan no because he is no more a partner so when we transfer it there is a new account gets created that is retiring partners loan account so loan account increases and capital account decreases because we have transferred the entire amount to loan account okay now next is when full payment is made on the spot or by cash or by check so when we pay immediate amount then our journal entry is very simple partners capital is debited because it is decreased and cash or bank account is credited as it is an asset it decreases so it is credited okay so if when we make the payment by cash we have to credit cash if payment is made by check or through draft etc then we have to credit bank so what is given to you in the problem so please read carefully and accordingly you have to write either cash or bank okay and then uh, sometimes it is not full payment but it may be a part payment meaning what a retiring partner is only settled with part of the amount and remaining balance may be transferred to his loan account okay so whatever we pay we credit to cash or bank account and whatever we transfer to loan account loan account is to be credited so what is the journal entry here shown so retiring partners capital is debited of course it decreases and loan account increases and cash or bank account decreases so we credit i hope this is clear to you uh, regarding this settlement of amount so any of this situation is given so you have to look for what is the situation given and accordingly you have to give the treatment okay and never forget this journal entries you may not have to pass the journal entries but then if it is asked for just two marks or four marks questions then you also need to know these journal entries properly okay and uh, when it is a uh, entire problem on retirement is asked then ledger accounts are very important so that settlement is done uh, properly okay so now uh, one more important point i have to just bring to your notice that is a note uh, please see section 37 of indian partnership act of 1932 is applicable in the absence of any partnership actually how the payment is to be made and uh, how it is to be settled how much uh, interest the partner has to get if loan account is to be settled and all uh, depends on the partnership deed agreement because partnership is formed by an agreement all of you know so one of the clauses may uh, specify about this but suppose if there is no such clause or if there is no such uh, provision in the partnership deed then this section will apply and what this section says see if outgoing partner has an option to receive either interest at the rate of 6% per annum till the date of payment so if any amount is due and if, uh, that amount he is entitled to receive along with interest at the rate of 6% per annum till the payment is to be made 
to him and there is one more option if or such share of profit which firm has earned with his money okay based on the capital ratio so this is very important okay so entire uh, profit which is earned you may distribute in the capital ratio and then his share should be given to him if his money is used in the firm okay uh, this is just to bring to your notice section 37 okay prudent scholars powered by lupin pharmaceuticals